You are listening to episode 130 of the Confident Coaches Podcast, the one where you stop punching yourself in the face with your own results. Okay? All right, let's go. Welcome to the Confident Coaches Podcast, a place for creating the self-confidence you need to do your best work as a life coach. If you want to bring more boldness, more resilience, and more joy to your work, this is the place for you. I'm your host, Amy Latta. Let's dive in. Mm, hello, my loves. How are my loves out there today? Is this episode coming out in May? I think this is. Welcome to May. Okay, so April season and airy season is over. It's fine. It's fine. It was fabulous. And now we are on to May. So here's to May of 2022. I hope everybody is out there doing fabulously. And this is going to be another episode from The Coaching Files because here's what I see going on. All right, everybody lean in. Come on. Come on. Come lean in. (laughs) Here's what I'm seeing a lot of right now is we are in that kind of vague part of the year. It's not quite half, but we're well into the year. We're feeling a little like we're excited about the change in weather. It's getting warmer. Unless, of course, for my listeners who are on the other side of the globe, my Australians and my New Zealanders, it's starting to get a little cooler. I hear you. I see you. Just want you to know I still love you. You know, we're looking at a change of season and there's nothing that's really like externally motivating us right now. And a lot of what I'm seeing in coaching calls and coaching sessions and just like the coaching community online in general is just kind of this like, it's what I call punching ourselves in the face with our own results. Either our results are really fabulous and we're not sure that we can maintain them or they're not what we wanted to create and we're making that mean something negative about us. And there's just all of this, like it doesn't even matter what kind of results you've created at this point, there just seems to be, I don't know, is it like the May malaise? I don't even, I literally just made that up. That just kind of like, there's no, it's the beginning of the year, or it's the second half of the year, or it's the end of the year. It's just kind of this vague time in the year. And it doesn't really seem to matter where anybody is. There's just a whole lot of like, I don't, I don't know if this is working. <laughs> so, This topic is called like mixing models, mixing results, and it does come right out of a mastermind call. So I'm currently hosting the last round of Competent Coaches Mastermind. I've alluded to this in podcasts before. So to be very clear, Competent Coaches Mastermind is the mastermind that I have run for the past couple of years. This is my, you know, two complete years And it was the only program that I offered. So it was the only way you could work with me. And so it was all about getting any coach at any level to feel more confident so that they could sign more clients. Well, with the introduction of free to paid coach, which launched in March, Common Coaches Mastermind, as it was, just really didn't make sense anymore. That These are two distinct programs. Free to paid coach is for brand new coaches who've either never even worked with any client, you like free client, you haven't even worked with a free client, or brand new coaches who've worked with free but not paid, or coaches who've been around for a while and just kind of hit and miss and not really gotten anywhere, no consistent clients, that kind of energy. Let's go get you a paid client. Let's teach you the fundamentals of what steps you need to take to sign clients, to become paid, to become confidently paid, and teach you the steps, more importantly, to deal with all of the emotional bullshit that comes up. So then the mastermind in turn becomes more, you know how to do that already. You know how to create at least $5,000 in six months. Now let's get you to six figures. So Confident Coaches Mastermind, the one group I have going now, they're kind of shifting into the new mastermind, which is called Path to 100K. And the first official Path to 100K is going to be in August. We're going to sell it actually a month from now. We're going to sell it in June. So in Confident Coaches Mastermind, there are still a mixture of people, but we are all focusing on the method and the process 
of Path to 100K, which is all about the bottom line is, do you know how you're creating the results that you have? How do you replicate results that you like? How do you stop creating results that you don't like? And how do you take full responsibility of those results? So this topic today, this kind of mixed models, mixed results, and you punching yourself in the face with the results that you've created, and particularly right now at this point of year where there's not anything external kind of driving you and motivating you, and you could just be kind of swimming in a little bit of a muck. Let's make sure we clean up the models that you're in, and let's make sure we own the results that you are creating. And this is more elevated work that we do in the mastermind level. So what do I mean by mixed models, mixed results? I want you to visualize it this way. It's like you're staring at two trains in front of you. And train A is going to take you to destination A. And train B is going to take you to destination B. And you get on, you consciously choose to take train A to create destination A. And then when you get there, you're pissed that you didn't end up at destination B. So to put this into the coaching business terms, let's think about, you know, you want to get better at doing webinars. You want to become somebody who can sell from a webinar, but you don't know how to do it yet. So you could take train A, which destination of train A is all about getting better at doing webinars, or there's train B, which is all about creating consult and signing clients from webinars. Well, if you're brand new and you've never done this before, sometimes train A is the train you want to be on, okay? So you're consciously deciding and you're consciously, by choice, I'm going to run this webinar or I'm going to do this project, I'm going to do a five-day training, I'm going to create this series of posts or podcasts, all from a place of learning, all from a place of getting better, all from a place of figuring out the technology, of finding my own voice, of getting better at speaking to my clients' problems. This is the purpose of this. And then you run that webinar, you run that email series, you run that posts or that five-day training, and you learn stuff, but it also doesn't create new clients. And you just decide that none of this works. This is what I mean by mixing models. You're in this model where you've already decided the result of learning that that is your goal. But somewhere along the way, you jumped the track. And you tried to join this model over here where the desired result was new clients. And when you don't create those new clients, you just decide that webinars don't work. <laughs> Webinars don't work. This doesn't work. Nothing I do works. I'm not creating clients that I want to create. All because you forgot that the model that you were currently in, that wasn't the result you were trying to create. The funny thing is, is that you did create the result that you said you wanted to. You weren't acknowledging that. And then you're punching yourself in the face. <laughs> So I actually have another analogy. This is going to be more about analogies than it is going to be the actual mixed models. But I think this is a different one. This is a different analogy that I think it might land a little bit differently. Like I want you to imagine that you're taking a family vacation and you could take your family vacation up north to visit the family or you could take your family vacation down south to Mexico to hit the beach but you've consciously chosen, we're going to go north to visit family. And you get to the airport and you board the flight to head up north. And then you are upset when that plane has not taken you to a sunny beach in Mexico. <laughs> because that's where you're idealized. That's where you really want to go when you are ready to take that trip, right? And that doesn't make sense that we would consciously choose a plan that's going to take us north and then decide that planes don't work or vacations are dumb and air travel is stupid when you don't end up on the beach in Mexico. No, you made a conscious choice to decide the goal and the purpose, which was to learn more about what your people want to hear, to get better at explaining your process, that your goal is so much less about sign a client, sign a client, sign a client, and instead it's about get better, get better, get better. Learn more, understand more, keep trying, try all the things, fall flat on my face so that every single thing that I do, I learn and I learn and I learn that you're going to host a webinar every single week for the next month and a half so that you can learn how to get better at doing webinars 
and so that you can learn that you don't die when things don't work out. And instead, what you're doing is deciding that you're going to get better at doing all these things through webinars and then beat the shit out of yourself because nobody showed up, because nobody signed a consult call. And of course, if we pull way back here, If we like go big lens, like big scope lens of what it means to run a business, like we do champion the people who board their first flight, like their first vacation of their entire life is to an exotic tropical island and not to go visit grandma and grandpa up north, right? Like we like to champion the people born on third base. We like to champion the people who've never failed. We like to pedestal people who are at the top. And we're often shocked to find out that they ever even failed at anything, you know, and we, we really downplay those failures. And if we were to go way back in time and throughout history, understand that we've been taught that the only people who matter are those people who seem infallible. Like, I like to think about all this historical fiction shows that shows that it was like the king and the religious leader were the only ones who were allowed to be at the top. It seemed like they had to have their shit together and they knew everything that was going on and their voice was the only voice that mattered. And then what happens behind closed doors and it's all the drama, right? That religious leader, that so-called holy man is actually sleeping with like half the village or that king has five mistresses and is secretly plotting to murder his brother so his brother doesn't steal the throne for him. Like it's nothing but chaos behind closed doors. But the image presented was one of we're never doing anything to fail and learn and get better And we only board the planes that take us to only the most desirable spots. We only do anything in order to create the max amount of results, the max amount of consults and clients and money, and anything less than that doesn't count and it doesn't matter. And we even do this socially today, right? Like we still desire to be, and we still kind of elevate. Like we secretly say, hey, we shouldn't only celebrate the people with the perfect, shiny, polished picture. And yet we're still trying to be the people with only the perfect, shiny, polished picture. Or we wish we could be like that person over there who only seems to be the perfect, shiny, polished picture. Like we consciously know that's not what happiness is, and that's not what success is, and yet we still are striving for it. So I think that big picture, big scope is like, of course we are. It makes sense that we are. We've been taught for literally millennia that the only thing that matters is that image of projection of perfection. Ooh, that's a fun little phrase, right? The projection of perfection, that that's the only thing that counts. If it's not 100, it might as well be zero. I just want to offer to you that you get to decide whether or not that's how you run your business and that you are jumping from model to model, mid-model, like, no, my purpose here is to keep going and keep getting better and keep figuring out how I create the results that I create and to try all 2,700 things in order to create the results that I want and not to jump out of that model, not to mix your models up, to then be disappointed the result that you're creating because it wasn't the 100%. And we do this, like, even on social media today, right? Like, we're looking on Facebook, we're scrolling Facebook, and someone over here is taking their family to go see grandma in Chicago. And we're like, oh, that's sweet. But this family over here is taking their entire family on a Caribbean cruise, or they're walking the beaches of Grand Cayman. And we've just decided, oh, that's better. That has more value. That has more social status. And isn't that interesting that in business, we've decided that there's more social status amongst coaches and amongst online businesses to be able to project financial wins over lifelong learning. In really mixed models, mixed results, this episode right here is just all about you. I just want to plant this idea in your brain that you get to decide which is more important to you, projecting financial wins or lifelong learnings that creates the financial wins. It makes sense that our brain seeks the approved social status, the flashier result line, the better beach vacation destination, the illusion that I have it all together, that I don't make mistakes, that I know exactly what I'm doing all of the time. It's understandable 
that our default is to try to strive for that. I just want to offer you that that is patriarchal structure and hierarchical thinking that does not serve us. Because if you think I can't fail and I should only have the result line of traditional success, of numerical success, otherwise nothing I'm doing here matters, you're always going to be bouncing around to models. You're never going to feel like you're getting ahead and you're going to want to throw out everything that does work because you just decided nothing works. What I want to offer to you, dear coach, is whether or not that line of thinking is working for you. Because what I see honestly is a whole lot of people that that is not working for. Because when you think that way, there's just no room for mistakes. There's no room for error in your thinking, right? Like if you have a really great launch, if you put a bunch up an email series or a webinar and you suddenly get five people signed up, the next time you do it, your brain's going to tell you it better be the same, if not more. And your brain's going to be like, there's got to be drama if the numbers go down. And we do see this with larger success stories too. When we hear about that coach that whose numbers just gone up and up and up and up, and then all of a sudden, for some reason, one of their programs, their numbers like were cut in half for any number of reasons. It is true that the villagers at large... <laughs> There must be drama. There must be something going on. What's the drama behind the closed doors? As opposed to just sometimes numbers go down. And it's an opportunity to learn and it's an opportunity to grow. It's an opportunity to find out what was the thinking, what was the feeling, what was the action that created those results. You just get to decide if you want to make that mean something just because the villagers are making it mean something. You are always creating the results that you have. And in free to paid coach, what we work on initially is your willingness to just try a bunch of different things, just like throw all the spaghetti on the walls and let's see what sticks. And in Path to 100K Mastermind, it's you seeing, oh, that's interesting. This spaghetti stuck. I wonder why. Let's go find out. This spaghetti didn't stick. I wonder why that is. Let's make sure we're not replicating that. I'm just throwing in all the analogies. We've got trains, planes, and pasta (laughs) in this one episode. But it's really important that in Path to 100K, I am priming your brain to start just understanding why you think I can never fail and I should only be striving for results that are perfection and how to get over that so that you can go try all of the different things. And then once you start having success and you start getting clients on your belt and you're making $1,000, $5,000 and beyond, then we're preparing you for Path to 100K Mastermind where you get to really go into the results that you've created. And now let's get the discernment of a 100K thinker. Let's not just identify the patriarchal thinking that's happening, which is what we do in Free to Paid Coach, but actually dismantle it in the mastermind so that you have the better discernment of this model is creating this result. Is this the result that I want to be creating? If I want to be creating a different result, what needs to change? How am I creating the results that I have now? We literally do this every Monday morning. Mastermind members are submitting. We're sharing with one another their weekly evaluations where they are identifying, this is how I've created the results that I've created this week. Here's what's working. Here's what created results I wanted. Here's what's not quite working. Here's what's creating results that I don't want. Your ability to discern the difference so that you can replicate what's working and let go of what's not. And let me and your peers help you notice when you are jumping from model to model. When you are jumping mid-model from one into another, when you're mixing them up, when you're mixing up your results so that you can quit punching yourself in the face with the results that you're creating and instead just say, oh, here's why I'm creating them. I boarded the plane to go see grandma in Chicago. I do not need to be pissed off that I did not land in Mexico. (laughs) And then... And then when you decide, I 100% want to board that plane that takes me straight to Mexico, your willingness to deal with delayed flights, getting bumped, 
being redirected, being rerouted, and it means nothing because you still believe you will end up in Mexico. That actually happened when I went to Italy a couple of years ago and back in 2019. And you fly from Naples to Newark and then Newark to St. Louis. And it was already a super long journey home, but there was a plane accident literally 20 minutes before we landed in Newark. We ended up on a tarmac in upstate New York. I ended up missing my connection flight. I ended up having to spend the night. I believe that took me 41 hours to get home. So this is what I'm talking about as far as when you decide the result that you want from your actions, when you go from the model where you just want to learn how to get better at webinars to the model where this webinar needs to create results, and the results are X number of consults, X number of signed clients, that even if there are diversions and delays and reroutes, and even if you end up on a tarmac in upstate New York, (laughs) you never stop believing that you're going to get there. This is the work that we do on the mastermind level. All right, my friends. So how are you creating the results that you are creating right now? In this month of May, I invite you to look at what you've created this year. How have you created these results? Whether they're results that you want to have. And here's the thing. Here's what I suspect. I I suspect you have a mixed bag of some things that are working for you, of results you are liking and you want more of, and some results that you aren't working for you, that you don't want to keep creating these results. And I invite you to just take ownership of how you are creating each set. Because when you truly understand that when you take full ownership of all of the results that you have in your business and your life, when you really take full ownership of that, you understand that you can create anything you want because everything you have is coming from your own creation. That is empowering. That is exciting. It may not always be a direct line, but if you stay with me, if you stay with me here, always believe that you will get to that destination that you're wanting. If you want to get super, super good at just throwing all the spaghetti on the wall and figuring out what works for you in the first place, I invite you to join us in free to paid coach right now. You can join that at any time. And we've got new people coming in every single week. We coach every Tuesday afternoon. You can be listening to this Tuesday morning and be coaching with me by Tuesday afternoon. Go to amylatta.com forward slash FTPC. But if you already have some results and you want to get better at understanding how you're creating it, if you want to understand how to replicate more of what's working and to stop doing so much of what's not working and to really develop your brain into that 100K earner thinker who's able to tell the difference, get ready to apply for Path to 100K Mastermind because we're going to open the doors to applications in June. So you got all this month to get yourself ready to apply for June and join us in August. All right, my friends, we are waiting for you inside. This is the place and the program that you have been waiting for. And until next week, let's go get paid. Coaches, I have created a brand new freebie offer just for you podcast listeners. I created a brand new training called Stop Overcomplicating Confidence because I see my coaches do it all the time, make this confidence thing way harder than it has to be. In this free training, you're going to learn exactly how you overcomplicate confidence, what's creating that, and how to stop it. Here's the best part. All of it, less than an hour. Less than an hour of your time, you will feel more confident in less than an hour, right? Yes, friends, this is the best training I've ever done. So visit amylatta.com forward slash podcast gift to get yours. Again, that's amylatta.com forward slash podcast gift. Go now and feel more confident in just an hour. Thanks so much for listening to the Confident Coaches Podcast. I invite you to learn more. Come visit me at amylatta.com. And until next week, let's go do epic stuff.